The bridge linking Detroit to Windsor, Ontario, was open for traffic Monday after a week of angry protests against COVID-19 mandates that had shut down the largest border crossing between the U.S. and Canada. The Ambassador Bridge is now fully open allowing the free flow of commerce between the sea. Traffic began rolling across the bridge shortly before midnight. The protest was led by truckers on the Canadian side of the border, but on Friday a judge ordered the protest disbanded. Canadian authorities swept in Saturday and removed most of the trucks and protesters. About a dozen protesters who defied the order were arrested Sunday when the last vehicles blocking the bridge were towed away. Today, our national economic crisis at the Ambassador Bridge came to an end, said Drew Dilkins, the mayor of Windsor, Canada. Border crossings will reopen when it is safe to do so, and I defer to police and border agencies to make that determination. Protesters who have created havoc at the capital in Ottawa for three weeks, say they object to Canada's COVID-19 rules. Truckers calling themselves the Freedom Convoy are opposing a mandate requiring drivers entering Canada to be fully vaccinated or face testing and quarantine requirements. Japan is considering easing its stringent border controls amid growing criticism that the measures, which have banned most fora, Keep refreshing this page for the latest news. Want more? Sign up for USA Today's free coronavirus watch newsletter to receive updates directly to your inbox and join our Facebook group. Phil Murphy's requirement that workers in higher risk settings get the COVID-19 vaccine and a booster shot when they're eligible survived a legal challenge Friday when a state appellate court dismissed a bid by New Jersey's largest police union to block the mandate. In a 34-page opinion, a panel of three judges brushed aside the New Jersey policemen's benevolent associations claim that Murphy overstepped his bounds when he declared last month that certain workers in crowded, high-risk environments such as hospitals and prisons, including about 11,000 county and 